Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 19, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit in on Friday's session. We're up to 0.59%. And we're getting really close to the 50 moving average and also this upper trend line here. So if we break above the 50 moving average and this upper trend line, then we may go and test the previous highs all the way back. This was all the way back in, in February, very late, late February. Since then, we've basically been trending downwards and uh, we have been testing this upper trend line. And um, if we get rejected here, then we could fall back towards the 150 moving average, a break above the 50 and this upper trend line, then we could head all the way up towards these previous highs. And that's a rally of give or take 2.84%. We're also getting fairly overstretched here. We're basically at the top of the Bollinger Band. We are still a lot of room to the upside in the RSI. Technical indicators are all turning around at this point. So momentum is still to the upside. MACD is still in negative territory, but it has crossed the signal line. Uh, the CCI is becoming bullish, the uh, RSI is bullish, and the stochastic is also bullish. But a pullback at this point, due to the fact that we are getting fairly overstretched in the bullish band, and due to the fact that we're approaching this upper trend line, it could be expected. So a breakdown from here could open the door to the 150, but a break above, that could open the door all the way up towards these previous highs here, which is 1424. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen, and as you can see, nothing really has happened here. And that's probably a, a good sign due to the fact that we are just hovering just above the 50 moving average. And usually when you when you just stay at one position, you can't basically break down, and then it goes in the opposite direction. So if we were to rally from here, then we most likely find resistant at the 20 exponential up here at 119. If that breaks, then we could head all the way up towards the previous highs from uh, basically three weeks ago at 110. And that's a rally of give or take 1.47%. Uh, but a break below the 50 moving average, that basically could open the door all the way down here to the 100 moving average. So that's a drop of give or take 2.3% uh, to the downside. That will not occur at once uh, due to the fact that we are approaching um, the bottom of the Bollinger Band. And this more looks like basically just a pullback. And due to the fact that we are just hovering above the 50 moving average and haven't really tested the 50 moving average or breached it, uh, we could basically bounce from here. If you look at other technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is still above uh, the above zero, but underneath uh, the signal line, so it's still uh, bearish. Uh, the RSI is very low at uh, 20.4, and so significantly oversold at this point. The CCI is uh, bearish, we're mi under minus 100, and stochastic is also bearish. We're in negative territory and underneath the signal line. But we could see a turnaround from here. Uh, next week will most likely um, you show whether or not we are going to break down below the 50 moving average or we're going to rally from here. So let's look at the US, uh, euro US dollar. And uh, this has also found resistance here at 150. So it basically stalled here at 150. And uh, this is very similar to, for example, the US dollar, Japanese yen. If you don't manage to break above uh, for several days, then it tends to basically break to the, the opposite side. We are getting significantly overstretched as well. We are at the top of the bullish band. We are significantly overbought as well as we have been rallying from the 300 moving average all the way up where we are now. That's a 2.35%. So uh, yes, that's a massive uh, rally for the last uh, few weeks and a pullback at this point could be expected. Uh, MACD is still in uh, bullish territory and well above the signal line. The CCI is bullish and the stochastic is bullish. So a break above the 150 opens the door to the 100 at 12.04. Break below the 50 moving average, then that opens the door to the 40 and the, and the 20 exponential. And though, if those breaks, then we're heading all the way back towards the 300 moving average. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. And as you can see, we have kind of stalled just above the 50 moving average. So this also had a really nice run this week, a rally of 2.11%. Uh, and at the moment, we are basically pulling back. 
So a break below the 50 moving average that could open the door all the way back towards the 150. It looks fairly unlikely at this point due to the fact that this just looks like a minor pullback due to the, the this rally here. So we, if the 50 moving week average offers support, then we could see this rally back towards a uh, 0 0.8, which were, which we basically tested all the way back in uh, late February. So since then we have been trending downwards. We have occasionally seen these rallies for here and here, um, and this started to look like a, a really good rally until it basically started to stall. We are also significantly outside of the bullish band here, so we could see a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band which is uh, give or take 1.12% uh, to the downside and well below the uh, 20 exponential moving average at this point. So let's look, at, let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. This looks like more is going to break down to the downside. So the way that this has been behaving is that it has rallied up towards 100 or the 50 and then broken down. You can just see it every single time and it is creating lower lows, even though this is a really long range. It, range sorry it is basically making lower lows. And this looks like it is just stalling at the 50 moving average. And at some point it's just gonna break uh, towards these previous lows here, or even lower than that. If you look at technical indicators, the MACD is in negative territory crossing the signal line. It is bearish, the RSI is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. We are approaching the bottom of the bullish band, so we could see a minor pullback before we go lower from here. But at this point, we have been rejected at the 50 moving average several times in the last three weeks. And it looks like that is what is about to appear here. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.